Test Out Live projects provide students with the opportunity to practice and refine what they've learned in Office Pro within the live Microsoft applications. At the end of each chapter on Microsoft Word, Excel, and PowerPoint, there are summative labs that allow students to perform tasks within the application. Let's take a look at a live project within Microsoft Excel. In this scenario, we are managing data for a large office supply distributor. Two managers are disputing end-of-year sales data, and we are tasked with resolving the conflict by analyzing data, performing calculations, and presenting a visually appealing workbook to help resolve the conflict. When we start the lab, the browser prompts us to open Microsoft Excel and automatically loads the document and instructions. The first sheet that we have is a comprehensive list of tasks. We also have created a plugin for Excel that's called the Task Guide. This task guide opens a pane on the right side of the screen. Students can view the instructions for each task within the live project and mark the task as done as they work through the scenario. The first task that we're assigned is to center the column headings A through G horizontally and vertically. After completing this, we mark the task as done and continue to the next one. Since the text does not fit the cells, our next task is to apply text wrapping to the column headings. We want to make these headers look a little bit better, so we're asked to pick a dark fill color. For this one, I'll pick orange, and then make the text bold and white. Let's skip ahead a few tasks and look at what we've completed so far and what we have remaining. This can easily be done in the task guide or on the main instruction tab. For this demo, now we're going to move to the North Region Sales tab. Our first task is to add conditional formatting to cell C32 to AF28. That's going to show us the top 5% of values. We select the data range, click on the conditional formatting button, and select the top 10%. We can then modify this to only show the top 5% and to use the dark green text formatting. We now do the same thing with the bottom 5% of sales using a light red fill with a dark red text and again modify that to 5%. As we look at the remaining tasks in the task guide, we can see that we marked these two complete, but we're going to stop here for now. We only showed one method of completion in this demo, but we only grade on the end result. All of the available options within Excel can be used to complete any of these tasks. Uploading the completed work to our servers is as simple as pushing the Save button at the top of Excel. There are no documents to manually upload or download, and there are no strange file document names that you need to worry about. Also, the student work is tied to their LabSIM credentials, so there's no way that they can submit the work of one of their classmates. At this point, we can simply close Excel, and all of our work is saved to the server. You can also come back later to work on the lab if you're not finished. When we feel like we've satisfied all the requirements of the lab, we can click the score button. We didn't complete all of the tasks in this lab, so we aren't going to get a perfect score. One thing you'll notice is where we sorted the data A to Z instead of Z to A. We didn't get that one correct, and we're provided with instructions on how to do that correctly. Another benefit of test out live projects is that students and teachers can both review the work that was submitted. This greatly helps instructors to understand where their students may be struggling. Live projects are just the final piece of a comprehensive learning solution provided by Test Out Office Pro. By providing students with video and text learning, drill and practice through skills, challenge, and applied labs, and live and application scenarios, we prepare students to succeed with Microsoft Word, Excel, and PowerPoint.